Pierce, sword prepper here. I wanted to cover a topic that I find very, well, I don't want to say upsetting because I don't get angry easily, but it's, it's more concerning. Over this whole Taiwan Nancy Pelosi China thing, it's, it's risen some questions in my mind as far as uh, the prepping community goes. Lots of people, lots of preppers have been talking about fighting for your country. Uh, not a lot, a few of them have been talking about fighting for your country and are you ready to go to war as in take what you have, take your preps without the government asking you to, without the US government or anything asking you to, you just of your own volition taking your stuff, taking your ammo that you saved up for hard times and going to war for your country. In my opinion, that's just dumb. Are you going to do that? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't put all this money and all this time into creating my own little estate, my own little country, to go throw it all away fighting for a country that doesn't value me. Throw it all away fighting for a country that is completely against the views that I hold and is trying to bring the rest of the world into their corrupt views. How many of you are going to find it in your heart to take all that you have, put your life, your children's lives, your family's lives at risk because you think you can fight for America when America doesn't want you? When America, when the whole, the whole reason we're doing what we do is for that day because the day will come. That day when the government decides you're no longer fit for society. Yet I hear these, these people talking about it's time to take up arms and fight for our country. Go out and fight China. Become a part of the military. Guys, come on, don't be silly. The military doesn't need you. The military doesn't want you. You're a waste of space to them. How many of you put everything you have, put your life on hold, prepped, went against the odds? Because the government, <laughs> it's so funny, the US government is saying preppers are dumb. You, shouldn't dep you should depend on the government. You shouldn't need to feel like you have to prep. We've got you. They don't want you to be a prepper. They don't want you to be prepared for anything. They're against you doing what you do. Yet, we have these preppers. It, it's surprising. We have these preppers talking about, oh, I'm going to go fight for America. I'm going to, and when the Chinese invade, I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to take all that I've saved up for and throw it all away, fighting for a country that doesn't value me. It's just, it's, it's dumb. I don't mean to sound rude or anything but the truth is it's unwise here's the reason why we prep we prep for the day for the days when this government turns against us we prep for the day when war demolishes the lands we prep for the day when the stores are emptied because the government failed we don't prep, we don't save up ammo, buy guns, save up food to go throw it away on the government. To go give it all to the government. That's basically what, what these people are saying. They're saying, yeah, all the stuff you prepped, all the stuff you've put away, let's go give it to the government. Let's go fight for the government. It's, just, it's unbelievable. It really is. Look. If the government is so dumb as to let Nancy Pelosi head over to China in the first place, to Taiwan in the first place, then we've got a problem. 
Is that the type of government you want to be in with? Is that the type of government you want to be fighting for? I doubt it. As far as I'm concerned, it's not. Because this government is the same people that are throwing pride festivals in our military, making us look weak. This is the same government that is allowing our soldiers to fight wearing these rainbow wristbands and with painted they're they're letting they're letting these trans people into the military and sending them across the sea to fight is that the government i want to be on on board with surely not surely not so it just baffles me how these how these people are like yeah it's time to go fight for your government throw all your preps away on fighting with the government stand with the government you guys come on don't be silly are you really gonna do that are you really gonna throw away everything you saved up I feel like a broken record I'm just repeating myself now if you've been watching those videos of the people saying that and you're considering doing it don't do it I'll tell you what you're doing all you're doing is throwing away everything you have so that they can come in afterwards and take you to prison for not getting this take you to prison for not bowing down to their beliefs and holding on to your core values take you to prison for not sending your kids to school because that's the only way they're going to make it in life that's the only way they can thrive is if they go to school don't do that don't go fight for the for this wretched place for this wretched government <laughs> it's it's just it's it's crazy what are you willing to give? What are you willing to throw away? If this China Taiwan thing does draft into a war and they try to draft you into the government, they try to draft you into war, are you gonna go? Are you gonna are you gonna allow yourself to be drafted? Are you gonna be a part of that? Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm a stark believer in Yeshua, Jesus. And Yahweh, God. And uh, I know that he would be ashamed at me if I went to fight for this government who holds all the wrong beliefs and who practice all the wrong things every day. If I went and, and joined their army, what am I doing? I'm joining their ranks. I'm fighting for those beliefs that they hold. So yeah, think about it. Don't go, don't go set up your, your preps and become a rogue, a rogue soldier for the government. If you're going to be a rogue soldier, fine. That's all well and good. But for the government, no. Don't be stupid. All right, that's all, warriors. Take care. Stay prepping. Stay out of the heat. I'll see you on the line of battle.